Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris McKinnon with the WBZ News Update. One person is dead, two others hurt after a shooting outside of Roxbury Community Center. This happened Wednesday night around 8 o'clock, just as a basketball game was getting out from the Tobin Community Center. The victims are all believed to be young men in their late teens. Boston police are asking anyone with information to come forward. A new state audit of the Department of Children and Families discovered hundreds of kids have been seriously injured under the agency's care without their knowledge. The findings showed between 2014 and 2015, 260 children sustained injuries, including gunshot wounds and broken bones. In its response, DCF said it relies on doctors and other health care professionals who are legally responsible to report suspected abuse or neglect. Crews battle a fire at a Manchester, New Hampshire home. Flames and thick smoke could be seen pouring from the house around 10 this morning. Firefighters report that there was a problem with the hydrant in front of the house that caused some water issues there. We do not know at this point if anyone was inside at the time or if anyone was hurt. Now let's check in with meteorologist Barry Burbank. And Barry, you're talking snow in the forecast. Yeah, we do that four-letter word. is in the forecast once again. Chris, here we start off this afternoon with no snow here, just some patches of clouds coming down from the north, moving into the Mass Pike area. So patches of clouds south of that will be the sunniest for the afternoon. North of the Mass Pike, that's where you'll see more and more of those clouds producing the snow showers way across the mountains. So that's the deal for the afternoon and tonight. Looking at mainly clear skies, it falls back down to the upper 20s and lower 30s again. We'll see some high cloudness at times tomorrow. And it will not be as mild, so to speak, as it is today when it gets up to the mid and upper 40s today. It'll only be near 40 tomorrow. So we have some snow starting on Saturday afternoon. Still going to be a close call with mainly an offshore storm, but it looks like we're going to be situated in the northwestern flank of that storm. So certainly the first snow of the season, some accumulation is possible. No major wind concerns and no major coastal flooding anticipated with this, but this storm's skirting out to sea just about like that. So it's not today, it's not tomorrow, but it's coming in on Saturday, and there you can see it expanding into the area to give us perhaps a few inches of snow. Not definite yet, but a few inches are possible out of this with a mix on the Cape and much less snow off to the north and west. We'll keep you posted on that in the next couple of days. The forecast looks like it's going to turn colder. Once it turns cold, it's going to stay cold and turn even colder than that sometime next week, Chris. We probably won't even get up to freezing for a few days later next week. Back to cold, you. Cold, cold, colder. All right, Barry, thank you very much. I'm Chris McKinnon. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.